7 p.m. on Wednesday, March 6, 2024. And if we're in accordance with the posted meeting, we will call this meeting of the Hanson Conservation Commission to order. This meeting is now open under the State Weather and Protection Act, Chapter 131, Section 40, and the Hanson Local Bylaw, Article 3 13, Section 5. This opening statement will apply for business conducted at this meeting. And for standard procedure, we need the audio recorded for the record. Roll call, please. Steve Smith. Ed Gill. T.J. Rovey. Dave Mansfield. Joe Clemens. Lon Woodward. Frank Skellinger. 100% of our board is present and 100% of our staff is present. Uh, our associate members are not, but that will not... Oh, excuse me. There is actually yes. one other person reporting for roll call right now, and he will verbally state his name for the record. Chris Hoffman. Mr. Hoffman has joined us as our one of our associates. We will proceed with our agenda. The first item on tonight's agenda is approval of minutes from two previous meetings, February 7th and February 21st. I presume all of us have received those by various means, and I will share the way to motions regarding those minutes. Seventh meeting first. And that is the one at which we resolve the carriage road question. Move that we move the minutes from February 7th as well. Motion to approve the minutes of February 7th. Is there a second? Um, or is there any comments, which we can always accept and thread till the vote? Do we want to leave the specific property and or price? that we discussed in the minutes um, as public record, given that we went into executive session and a later meeting to discuss property acquisition? That one actually, I think, is less sensitive. Okay. It's already on the pub public record what the appraised value of that property was, and we simply are looking at options there. So, good point. but. I personally don't see it. Then I second the motion. Okay. Second. 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 Approve the minutes of February 21st as presented. We're here second. Second. Any further discussion? <coughs> Hearing none, all in favor, please say aye. 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 Opposed? Mm -hmm. Understanding? Aye. Zero, zero. Minutes are approved. We shall move on. The next item 
And actually, it's still only very shortly after 7 p.m., so the timing still, I think, is fine. We have scheduled a public hearing, a new hearing, regarding proposed Conservation Commission regulation additions. And there is a, a legal notice for that meeting, which our clerk would perhaps be willing to read. The Hands of Conservation Commission will hold a public hearing on Wednesday, March 6, 2024, at 7 p.m., Hands of Town Hall. Uh, we change the meeting room statement. They would just say Hanson Town Hall. At the Hanson Town Hall. 542 Liberty Street, Hanson, Mass. Pursuant to the adoption of proposed additions to Hanson Conservation Commission rules and regulations. A proposal to adopt proposed additions to Conservation Commission regulations mainly. One, a regulation to use for use of the mitigation revolving fund. And two, rules and regulations for use of Hanson Conservation lands. These proposed regulations may be viewed at the Hanson Conservation Department's office second floor town hall during regular business hours. The application is filing under, applicant is filing under Massachusetts Wetland Protection Act, Mass General Laws, Chapter 131, Section 40, Town of Hanson Wetland Protection Bylaw, 313, Section 5, and Rules and Regulations, Hanson Conservation Commission, Phil Clemens, Chairman. Very good, thank you. This hearing is open. Uh, search the room for visiting parties, members of the public who may be interested in this. The hearing was advertised, I, I confidently assured. Um, the parties present are simply the commission and its staff, but that's fine. It, the doors are open. The documents which are part of, the, of what's being proposed, I believe in a package here, correct? I see it right here. It is regulation for the use of the mitigation revolving fund. Does anyone have a comment on Mr. Heal's question? The table that was fund revenue source authority to spend use of funds in fiscal years. Um, that's on the first page. The second page, which appears to be a um, the second page is the actual article the, the town meeting. The town meeting article, which is yet to be acted upon, but we're proposing it, right? No, this was ordered on last October. The I see. No, this was this was voted. It's in. Right. The, the first page. The second page is yes. October second, twenty twenty three. Special. I'm not entirely clear on what we're voting on. No. We're the voting. Voting. We're voting on a procedure for using it. Which is where? The procedure. Yeah. Is at the bottom of the first page. It says. Changes proposed and voted to permit the Conservation Commission to impose a fee on an applicant who is granted a variance for his or her project to disturb the 50 foot quote unquote no touch buffer and there is no feasible place on the applicant's property to mitigate that disturbance in the usual manner, i.e., by setting aside an area that we plan to be maintained as additional buffer. This Commission may use this, this method of mitigation at its sole discretion. In general, uh, as per standard everywhere, we would. Uh, seek on-site mitigation. When a mitigation fee is allowed, the fee shall be 10 cents per square foot that the picture will be disturbed. The fee must be paid by the applicant before an order of conditions. In other words, if they don't have room to mitigate any disturbance that we potentially could approve, this allows us to seek environmental, call it environmental, not justice, but balance the equation by uh, having funds to uh, have mitigations or other improvements, environmental improvements elsewhere in, in Hanson, ideally in the same watershed. That's my philosophy at least. But it would allow us to uh, 
it gives us flexibility in approving uh, projects without letting applicants off the hook for making up for their uh, disturbance. So once we approve, where does this piece of paper go? Approve the conservation regulations. It becomes part of the regulations and we'll send it down to the town clerk. Okay. To your point, if if uh, if I understand you, you want the the box that belongs on the right. That's actually the on the second page. Expense limit. I can do that. And I have a question. Would that be the limit for any for a given fiscal year? Yes. That has to be voted every year. So, in other words, we would reapprove our, our conservation regulations on an annual basis? No, 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 no. The article itself was approved by town ah, meeting. Ah. The select board has to put this into the article with all the other revolving funds to that set the expense when limit, we correct. vote on the, the, the limit. That's an article that comes up every year. All right. Got a question regarding what you just said a second ago. When you say that's for the year, if say somebody mitigates for ten thousand on the dot and we fill that account, spend it down, does it, is that we've hit the limit for the year and we can no longer put it in that and it has to go, or is it that just at any given time the account cannot exceed ten thousand? No, we no. cannot <coughs> expend more than ten thousand. Okay, so if we actually do take it, the and, fund can be an infinite amount of money. We can take in as can much take money in as, as much as deemed appropriate by the commission, but we can't expend. You can't write can't checks spend. for more than ten thousand dollars. Oh, okay, yeah. That, I thought that was the cap on the yeah. how much we can take in. Where if we hit the yeah. cap, we have to. Yeah, this is the expense the expense yeah. limit. Yeah, yeah. 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 No, it's just to stop people from cutting up these accounts and to and drugs and things like that. Yeah. To offer perspective, I think it's true to say that uh, at ten cents per square foot. And given our distaste for allowing lots of disturbance, I'm not saying that would never would be some in the future. We have, we dislike lots of disturbance. The dollar amounts, I don't foresee them really approaching this number here. But in case they do, we're prepared. Okay. We might have to split it into two years. If we yeah. if we and by the way, them. this uh, also. Uh, None of us will be on this commission by the time this, this is $10,000. I'll, I'll just remind the commission because I think it's an important thing to keep in mind. Um, as one of our consultants, John Delano, said a few years ago, it's always wise for a commission to have uh, at hand a number of special environmental projects that it would, that either has or would like or should have or would like to contemplate having throughout town the different watersheds. So it's a, an improvement, whether it be planting or something like that. Um, mm -hmm. There would be no shortage of ideas to responsibly use the funds as they accumulate. So this this page that we're voting on tonight says that the fee may only be used to fund planting. In the last paragraph, I see that. That's what was voted, right? Yeah, planting yeah, is we, actually. By the, by the way, we voted on this before. Mm -hmm. And to re re be true to our and previous vote, before. Hmm? okay. What okay. Is it? Then let, I was not present at that meeting, but I will suggest this for us to consider, and hopefully it will help. Planting has a number of subtasks associated with it. You might dig a hole in the ground and plant it. You might dig a big hole. You might dig several holes. And if you're planting, let's say, uh, a certain kind of tree, big tree, little tree. Uh, or you might plant things that aren't trees. You might plant moss. You might plant water lilies. Uh, planting can cover a lot of things. It's all intended to be in wet areas. And wet areas in nature, uh, at least the ones where improvement is a good idea, uh, they rarely are naturally uh, lacking in plants. Or if they don't have plants, it's because they want them and should get some. I think planting might be the uh, still a broad enough term, a useful enough term. I personally, while I understand the question, uh, I think it's it's okay. May I? <coughs> May I? Sure. Yes, sir. When we 
when we review a, an application that, that needs mitigation within the 50-foot buffer zone, we have always, always specified planting. Yeah. And that's what the... What we're so that's on why October. this says planting. If you have a different way of mitigating the, the disturbance, then we can put that in here. I don't know what it would be, because we've never used anything else. The only thing that comes to my mind, just off the top of my head, is that the habitat improvements, such as installing uh, bird boxes, bird houses, or bat houses, or structures of that sort, uh, that's not planting, but I'm not sure there is a simple term that would um, I mean, I think my, so uh, this, this bio, or this regulation, this revolving punt is designed to be used for places that touch the 50 foot buffer and can't provide mitigation. I guess my concern would be if we find ourselves in a situation like Carriage Lane again, where we are dealing with wetland disturbance. Yeah. It's using the it's using the term plant, preventing us from perhaps looking at like wetland replication <laughs> somewhere. Is it too late? Uh, I raised this question because again I wasn't present at the other meeting. Is it too late to insert a little phrase here such as this fee may only be used to fund environmental improvements, comma, such as planting in off site locations chosen by the commission. That does change what the town voted on in October. The yeah. town voted on the use of funds to place plantings. No, the ex voted on the, the explanation. No, the explanation yeah. is not legally part of the warrant. No, they, there's nothing uh, in the article that says anything okay. like that. What, what it was voted it's on true. was the use, <laughs> use, use of funds in box number four, for mitigation for buffer zone if, disturbance. Okay. Yeah. If we feel that okay. planting wetland plants in a wetland replication process is covered under the term verb planting, then I don't have an objection. I just I don't want to <clears throat> back ourselves into a corner. Well, you're already backing <clears throat> yourself into a corner because the the article didn't include anything about wetlands. This is mitigation for the 50 foot buffer. Okay. So where are we, is that? Why are we putting the check from the Browns? Okay. I didn't vote that. You did. <laughs> The fact is that what we discussed when we were talking to the Browns or about the Browns was that it isn't at all clear where the wetland is on that level because it wasn't adequately delineated by the, by the person who did the delineation. Yeah. So we just said, okay, we'll mitigate it as if it's buffer. And that's what you voted. Yeah. I still <coughs> would like to offer to the group and all of everyone's collective wisdom staff and, and the commissioners here a wording, which I just said, this fee may only be used to fund environmental improvements such as planting, comma, comma, in off-site locations chosen by the commission, et cetera. The, to what we voted on last, uh, October again. This is mitigation, 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 mitigation for buffer zone disturbance. And uh, I offer that wording for discussion and potential adoption. Can you repeat it? Look at the very last paragraph. Very last yeah. paragraph on the first page, yeah. and we'll read in the sentence. This scheme may be only be used to fund. Insert word environmental improvements, comma, such as planting, comma, in off site locations, wording remaining the same elsewhere. So instead of just planting, we say environmental improvements, such as planting. So you're adding environmental improvements, such as, in, in that sentence? Such as planting, yeah. yeah. One example, and I'm sure, like uh, Dr. Skellen did, by far, the most common example, and at this point, perhaps the only example, has been planting. 
But if you, let's say, had an area that was not wet in an offsite place, but you wanted to make a wet area bigger by excavating a little bit of what was not wet and making it wet, then planting, the environmental improvements would be, I think, a way to describe that. Yeah. And would that, could that, that wording also seems like it, it, would, it would cover bird houses and even bog bridges and broad enough? Well, I don't know about bog bridges. That's not an environmental improvement. That's an access improvement. The creatures of the natural environment don't require bog bridges for their day-to-day -day activities. Yeah. But yeah. Okay. your point, though, about uh, habitat, sure, if there aren't enough hollow trees, instead of making another dead tree, we could have Steve put up a bog. Mm -hmm. And uh, to me, habitat, environment, it all goes under that heading. That's just, again, a thought which I await the pleasure of the group. I would think that's good. It stays in the spirit of the idea that we can't just run off and spend it on whatever. Right. It, it, it has to be done for the right. intended purpose. Yeah, putting up a sign is not an environmental food. Putting up a bog bridge is not an environmental mm -hmm. um, no, Planting, it? yes. Uh, and yeah, there's probably other things besides bird houses. Um, I would say perhaps um, unplanting invasives. <laughs> unplanting invasive plants. Well, in, in the spirit of, in the spirit of working with living plants, sometimes you want to remove them if they're invasive. Mm -hmm. So to me, that would be an environmental improvement. Yep. And I like offers there, and that's all I can think of. I'd like to, to move that we add the words that Phil mentioned about adding um, essential improvements such as plant environmental improvements such as environmental improvements. Improvements. Second to that subject. In this public hearing, which is open for all these activities, we hear a motion to slightly change the wording in the last sentence on uh, this single page of the regulations for the use of mitigation involvement to read, this fee may only be used to fund environmental improvements, comma, such as planting, comma, in offsite locations, retaining the other wording as in place. Chosen by the commission. Yeah. Chosen by the commission, yes. Um, so motion is made and seconded, I believe. Yeah. Further discussion? Hearing none, all in favor please say aye. 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 Opposed? Abstaining? Five zero zero. That minor change is approved. Are we going to vote the bylaw, the fund, and the sign separately? Or are we going to vote them as one package of additions to the regulations? It's up to you. I would do them separately. I have it written well, down. Like we've already voted for the wording of the sign. We just, have yeah, to, right. we just have to do it in a public meeting. Right. And so I, hopefully we don't have to reinvent that wheel since we already printed the signs. I'm, I'm, I'm thinking that the most important <laughs> thing, a, a sign does not a regulation make. Mm -hmm. What we vote on here and put in the regulation does make the regulation. All right. Well, having thoroughly discussed the bylaw, the revolving fund, I would move we approve the with the uh, uh, regulation the for use of the mitigation revolving fund as am as amended this evening. I hear a motion. Do I hear a second? Second. I just, as a discussion. Sure, please. Are we adding that final column in? Yeah, the way yeah, Frank established that was Okay, second. I just want to make sure that. Yeah, well, that, that was, was more of a formatting effort than anything. Okay, yeah. exactly. That's what he's asking. No. Yes. Yes. We understand that's happening, so that's yep. on the table. What, what it's going to entail is that you take this and copy that line and paste it there. Mm -hmm. Very good, because I believe there is that upper limit is set by powers beyond this commission. And we'll simply acknowledge that. Well, let's move to the vote on Mr. Rofi's motion for approving this amended page. All in favor, please say aye. 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 Opposed? Abstaining? Five zero zero. That is approved. And in accordance thereof, pardon? I figured we could add that memo to the top to that. Okay. Uh, in that spirit, we have in hand a. Uh, a memo to the town clerk, which will be from us dated today, uh, 
indicating uh, that we did vote to adopt these proposed additions. So I feel it's sensible to sign this. I'll, oh, wait a minute. I'm going to wait until we, we close the hearing. Uh, who knows what might come up. Yeah, do we have one memo? So. Yeah, one memo for two uh, regulations. Yes. Yeah. That, that's, that's, okay. Hold on. Honey. We will move that we approve the rules and regulations for use of hands and conservation lands as drafted for the signage and previously discussed. And it's in hand. It would be available to anyone in the audience who wishes to view it. You okay with this, Chris? Yep. Yeah. I would say, even though I wasn't at the meeting, um, many places I've been, as far as ours, what you see on their posted signs and on, on the, the website saying is hours, dawn to dusk. I would submit it's virtually the exact same thing as one half hour before sunrise being dawn, one half hour after sunset to be as dusk. So I don't think this is incompatible with those, uh, those other regulations. However, the advantage to this, which I support, is this puts a very specific, no doubt about it, time of day on it, if there was a legal question. I think that's why that's where he has it. They have it this way? Yeah, yeah. I got this right from Dutch Marine. Okay. Dutch Marine Angle, I just copied there. So it's tried and true and proven. Okay. Um, as far as I know. Yeah. An another way to say it is not to dusk, but this is the legal way to say it, so we should all be happy with this. I, yeah, I am. That doesn't matter because there's more than one dusk. <laughs> well, there's more than one twilight and thing. Dusk has an even fuzzier definition than twilight. There's civil, there's civil twilight civil dusk, and, dusk. and uh, other things. Yeah. So we'll go with the clock. Yeah, exactly. Makes much more sense. I believe he has already proposed it. So, on the table. Second. Do I hear a second? I already, I already seconded it. Okay. Oh, you did? Okay. okay. We've, we've just had the discussion. Um, it's been moved and seconded to adopt this, and discussion has happened. Any further discussion? Hearing none. All in favor, please say aye. 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 Opposed? Abstaining? 5 zero, 0 These are adopted, and based on the, uh, the notice of the Hearing. There is no other business to come before it. So I would entertain a motion to close the hearing and um, sign any uh, communications regarding our actions. So moved. Second. Any further discussion? <coughs> hearing none, all in favor, please say aye. 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 Opposed? Abstaining? 5 zero, 0. Hearing is closed. And again, in our hands is a memo to the town clerk. Summarizing our actions. I'll pass this along. Or no, I'm going to sign where my other line is here this time. You don't want to sign the photo? Sir? I did last time, and I, I, I got an objection from my left here, so I won't try to go by the rules. It's just a real shame not to have the signatures and names match when she typed them up so nice for everybody. <laughs> <laughs> I apologize. I'm pretty sure when they signed the Declaration of Independence, they're all over the place. <laughs> all righty, we have done with that. Um, moving on with our agenda appointments, we have none, and I see no people beating down the door. We do have several discussions. Um, before we forget, before we forget it, uh, Frank, I believe that we have in our packets copies of a letter from our agent regarding 410 Woodbine Avenue, just for all of our awareness, which I think was well written. Uh, Frank, you can probably quickly summarize that letter. Is there anyone who's not aware of it yet? Because you will be in a moment. Okay. Um, let me find out. I don't think whatever letter you refer Which memo is this? Yeah. It's a letter about Woodbine Avenue. I, I put Frank, um, Phil's CC, check on the Oh, here it is. Okay. Um, I put Phil's CC in there. There is a letter dated February 27th from from our agent to Arthur Board and Associates. And long story short, it says, regarding 410 Woodbine Avenue order of conditions, um, it's come to our attention that the project has been modified to add a new water service line from the street to the house around the garage right. You have not provided for this water line on the plan. Please refer to the order of conditions, special conditions one and eight. 
We also note for the record this water line has been installed on town owned land. Please provide a revised plan showing the design of this water line and its routing for Conservation Commission review and documentation that the applicant has the town's permission or an easement to use the town owned <coughs> land for this purpose. Very truly yours. This is uh, CC'd to the applicant, uh, to Al Wood, the installer. Uh, Gilamato and the Board of Health, Jerry Davis, Water Department, whose water would be going through it. Uh, Carrie Glass, Building Inspector, uh, myself as Chair, and Lisa Green, Town Administrator. Um, any response yet? Nope. I understand, though, that they haven't gone back to start the septic system, so they probably are mulling this. Yeah, and I hope the other people who are CC'd on this are also mulling it, the other departments in the town. Um, so we're just aware of it, and thank you for doing that, Frank. We're trying very hard to coordinate with the other departments, and we're not necessarily getting 100% return. Uh, I communicate with Tony. I communicate with Virginia. I communicate with uh, Carrie. Carrie Glass. Every day with Gil. Yeah. And. We still have these kinds of glitches. Uh, it's this particular project has is fraught with a long history of long history litigation and so forth. Long ago, at a, at a town meeting, it was voted to give this homeowner an easement to use part of the town property next door because the garage is sitting on town property. And I'm informed that the select board did not execute that town meeting vote. And so that easement doesn't exist yet. So. <clears throat> I felt the need to point it out and to make sure that Mrs. Green is aware that we would appreciate action. Approximately when was, what, what town meeting was this voted on? A couple, couple years. years. Okay. I can get the, I can and get Do we have enough time to address it without going back to town meeting and I don't know what's being done okay. apparently it's in the hands of the town council yeah. I would hope and this is simply We're informal unlegal sort of hope that there isn't a time limit or a, a sunset on um, when you can execute such an easement but rather I would hope it's still open and able to be done such that both the garage and perhaps this this oh, water service can be made legal instead of illegal. That's what I hope, but I well, don't. Well, I don't know why there would be a sunset on it. There's no sunset. This is on what it. I don't know. I'm just saying. I think Ed has implying that um, geez, we haven't done it yet. Is that a problem? I yeah. think it's simply a problem that it will be forgotten, and you're trying okay. to hide that. Well, there's no sunset on the select board executing the votes on turning over land to care and custody. Mm -hmm. And we know of many properties where it's yeah, been well, years yeah, since the vote was the taken. Mm -hmm. I'm well, sorry? If, if you would like to provide a list, I'd love to move it forward. That's, that's an ongoing well, I'm project. Separate. Sitting on my desk. Yeah. And <laughs> I, know, I know that will come. But regarding this particular piece well, of property. This is what we're talking about. This, this this commission right here, and with all our awareness right now, is simply trying to advocate for good communication, uh, awareness of issues such as on this property, and correction thereof, and documentation coming back to us because uh, our special conditions probably speak to <coughs> expansions of the project. The, the, the DEPs condition includes if you change the plan go back to conservation right and we reiterate that in all of our conditions yeah it so is. that's what I'm that's what I'm banking yeah. on. It, it's not good town management for us to say approve a 
a plan and close a hearing, and then they had to go to the Board of Health with a plan, and then during the course of the Board of Health, they changed something about the location of the septic system, and they approved that and closed the hearing. Now you get two different approvals. That's not good town government, and we, we try to not allow that. So thank you. Moving along, a discussion. Uh, there is a suggestion we should discuss the mitigation revolving fund use. Um, what's at the top of our topics there? No, you just did it. We just did that. We just just did making that. Yeah. sure. Okay. Because I think that's just been living. I think I just left it on there okay. just in case. So that's a, an ongoing thing. Very good. Yep. Signage. You just did it. Nothing yep. to talk about there. Property management updates. No, it's quite good. There's almost always something. Well, just a, a quick update. Um, so we talked about renting an auger to build holes. I talked to Dan Dell about doing the parking lot at Crooker Place. The holes for kiosks. The kiosks. Yes. And while I was talking to him, I asked him if he had an auger, and he said he did. I said, well, we're going to dig holes for the kiosks. He said, it's fine, I'll dig them. So I said, well, okay, he'll save me renting one and trying to figure out how to use it. And he says, I'll just do it. And I said, well, you know, bill us accordingly. And he just left it with, I'll just do it. So he's supposed to get in touch with me in the next few days and do it. So that's the answer to, to that whole thing. Um, I, need some, I needed some clarification because I noticed when reviewing the meetings for the other minute, uh, mm -hmm. meetings, I was supposed to get some quotes from Dan to for repairing the parking lots, but we've already approved 1500 bucks to repair the parking lots. So my plan with Dan was to just show him what we need to do and just tell him we got 1500 bucks and no more and do it again. I think we left it vague because we didn't have a definite answer on what that was going. To, well, what that was going to get us to. We don't because it's a it's an ongoing and changing situation depending on how much rain we get. So it's. I would draw our collective attention to something, and I was one of the workshops on that last Saturday spoke about um, municipal uh, expenditures for different dollar amounts, and less than ten thousand dollars, one has. Uh, all the laws stay is one has the uh, authority to simply use good business judgment. And by being a, such a small amount, I think that the process we're undergoing right now represents good business judgment, good business practice. Well, I just, I'm just clarifying because the, what, was, what we have in our minutes is that I'm going to get a quote from Dan on how much it's going to cost. I'm trying to just get it done as opposed to having to wait for two more meetings to get it approved. And I'm going on the fifteen hundred bucks we have in our budget. That, that my plan was to spend no more than the fifteen hundred bucks. Now, wait for the properties, and it turns out something is more than that. So that's a different project. Now, that to me, I just want to clarify that if it's okay to do that. To me, it seems like if there is a dollar amount, will be discussed, and if it's covered by what we've already allocated, great. If, if it, that dollar doesn't cover it, you'll come back to us and say, guess what, uh, we've been quoted a higher amount to do this work, and then we'll figure out what to do. So what he needs to do is a little bit of repair work at, at Pierce Avenue. We need to do a little bit something about the drainage coming off the hill there. Mm -hmm. We need to do something about the entrance at smith Malazelski, and we might need a little touch-up at Port Meadow. So you can see why it's not practical to go look for a bit. Right, right. That's a guy with a truck and a machine for a day, kind of thing. That would turn like a molehill into a mountain of yeah, administrative well, that's detail. That's my opinion. So, as long as it's okay with everyone, I'm just going to proceed that way with Dan and get it done. So, you're saying 1500 for sleeper? No. The whole thing. 1500 for the whole thing. Nothing to do with sleeper. We want to get as much done as we can for 1500 It's in our budget. Sorry. We have a budget to repair parking lots. Existing $1,500. Okay. At the well, meeting that we had, somehow it got in there that I'm going to get a quote from Dan, yeah. which means it sounds like we have to go revisit this whole thing and let it last till May. I'm trying to get them working next week, build the holes, do the parking lot. Do the quicker place thing and be done with it. I would move we approve Mr. Mr. Mansfield to work with Dan Dell Construction to utilize the $1,500 budget for parking lot repairs as most cost effective and beneficial to the commission's property. So repair of existing parking lots, yes. The, that motion is made. Is it seconded? Seconded. I think it's quite clear. All in favor, please say aye. 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 Opposed? Abstaining? Okay, the only other two things I have is uh, the signs are being printed at Webster for all of the kiosks. 
except I didn't, we don't have anything for sleeper because that's an ongoing thing, except for the basic sign that we have now. Sure. Uh, they look great. And they're going to make them all the same size. The kiosks are two sizes, but the signs are all going to be two feet by 35 inches. And it's going to combine the property description with the map on the same sheet. Mm -hmm. And then that'll give us room to put the rules and regulations sign under it and the base circuit trail sign under it mm -hmm. for the appropriate property. So sure. that's the set. They look fabulous. I mean, they really, they really look nice. Uh, they're along the same idea as the ones at Poor Meadow, except smaller. Um, so, I, um, it, as a practical matter, to keep the costs on, in control, um, I told them to just make them all 35 inches, even though some of the kiosks are, are wider. It, that's not makes right. sense. Yeah. Like so they're, they're good. They should be done any time. They're they're in process. So um, that should that should be good. Um, I had two other things. with just kind of comments. I mentioned this before. Um, I really think we need to reach out to Lincoln. Mr. Lincoln and his wife on that we're going to proceed down there. I mean, when we actually do it <coughs> requires some discussion about a clean quote from Dan Bell. But um, I'm concerned that Wildlands Trust is going to come to inspect that property and we're going to be in. Um, actually, Wildlands Trust might not have as many issues as you think. I don't know if they won't find it. I'm not nothing, but one thing they did and it totally relates to the access there is. <coughs> They excluded from from their monitoring the parcel, the small parcel where the driveway is. Their conservation restriction uh, inspections will cover only the rest of the property. So the guideline that we need a two space access is null and void or irrelevant. Or we don't have to actually. Uh, let me say this. Without reading it, I can't say for sure, but I think they would still like that. But having it takes more time than maybe one would expect to accomplish it, I don't think it's going to be an issue. They would be, I think, totally in favor of resolving it the right way with maximum coordination with neighbors and than just the, the needs of the, of the neighborhood. Well, all I'm, all I'm looking for is clarification. So if, our, if the commission's opinion is that we're just not going to worry about it, it's just let it, let it sit, that's fine. I'll just stop thinking about it. Well, If we're planning to do it, then I think we should start moving on. Did we not create a communication to the selectman or to the town administrator seeking town council's response to several specific things? This is something like a year ago. Because I think that's a prelude to exactly what you're talking about. Did we not do that? I believe we did. Yeah. I'm just looking for guidance. I think, I think the this. guidance is like, and let's elevate this more than to just a, a chat among commissioners here, but uh, maybe it's a new item for the, the chair at least, and maybe another member of the commission to meet with town administrator on that specific topic. We will equip ourselves with the documents that we had before and present ourselves and the issue to the town administrator and that, that addresses things that are needed to do what you're talking about. All right, well, okay, I, I just look for clarification. So yeah. I'm just going to... I, I like the idea. I think that's a priority, I think. I think a reasonable monitoring uh, organization would be sympathetic to the idea that the easement conditions may not be cut and dry. Yes. And that they should be clarified before mistakes are made. Yep. While his trust, in fact, has shared with us many examples, some of them painful that the trust themselves have experienced. They understand that issues exist. This is just one more of that. And uh, I think um, that we need to follow through on what we started a year ago. On a related note, the section that Dave has included in the draft calls for prior written approval of the grantee. I didn't write this. I did. Oh, okay. I wrote it. Sorry. At, at, Dave, just, at Dave's insistence. I assume, I just write, <laughs> I assume that <laughs> I assume that you went hand in hand. Um, not quite as so I, I colluded around it. Um, but anyway, do we have. Are we not a grantee written? ourselves? No. I'm sorry? Someone, a grantor, a grantee of what? I'm not, I'm not reading this, I'm just hearing the word. Well, you have it, I think. It's well, I'm not having it in front of me. I haven't looked at it this last second. With prior written approval of the grantee, parentheses, Wildlands Trust Incorporated, uh, close parentheses. 
Structures and improvements this incidental is a to quote, conservation. This blah, blah, blah. is a quote right out of the <coughs> CR. Oh, okay. right. Now so I'm the, now question, I'm the question is, do we have that prior written approval to install parking spaces? Which would also be a prerequisite to this project. <coughs> Based on the, the way this we is. have so many documents for your chair to remember what's in all of them. I would certainly be open to opening the CR and reading what it says. Um, yeah, I don't necessarily expect everyone to have an answer offhand, but it yeah. would be a, another T to cross it. I will tell you this though uh, on the day that the Division of Conservation Services came pre grant to walk the property to look it over, it was actually the director of the whole division. It's from Bob O'Connell. Um, he and I talked about this exact thing, and he thought it was a, the best idea since sliced bread to seek that. So uh, everything in the CR, whatever is in there, has to have been already approved and took a long time to do, but finally it approved by that division. Uh, I cannot imagine that being an issue. Uh, I think it's always wise to ask, but I think the answer is it's fine. I think it behooves us to be thorough and accurate as it pertains to this project and this location. Mm -hmm. I think we should proceed with getting our answers from town council to the whatever that whole list was that we put together. And then before putting a shovel on the ground, touch base again with the Wildlands Trust and say, just so you, if, if you come to do a monitoring in the future and you see a piece of equipment out there on the property, <laughs> don't panic. Uh, but Please tell us again that it's okay to install a handicapped parking area. So that makes sense, to, uh, TJ. Um, I think that's proceeding on a common test basis. Uh, uh, tangentially related to this, sorry, no. tangentially related to property management. Mm -hmm. um, there have been conversations recently about several of the properties that have been acted upon at town meeting that we've never received anything recordable on. Is there anything we could do as a commission to... This is the list that I'm going to give Ed. Yeah. Right, we'll, which is will that list include Ed's other hat, taking that list and running with it. Is there anything that we can do to encourage action on this matter? Other than remind parties of what town meeting endorsed. Were, were I don't these know. requests we, in we have email? we have a request in that's at least four months old to get the well site approved for um, care and custody by the water department. Mm -hmm. We have asked repeatedly for that document. And my res the response from the town administrator is, town council's working on it. I'll check with them. And I've heard nothing back. Nothing back. Nothing back. Nothing back. So the idea that we would go to them with 30 other properties that we okay. want care and Sorry. custody for I wasn't suggesting we necessarily do everything at once <laughs> but I know last week we discussed the seven that have been voted at town meeting since I've been here yes it may be very well now it's nine actually by the way it may very well be that with the historic list of 30 or so with the more recent seven or nine things um, whatever form and timing a request request would be made to me, it should become part of a file of, let's say, to-do items that we are told have been placed in the hands of town council. A growing file of things that are the town council is supposed to do and have not have done with dates on them, to me, constitutes part of the, a, 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 um, it would be a performance review of town council. If if the board of selectmen was reviewing that response, and they were uh, you know, periodically, how they do it? We don't review town council. Who who approves town council? Who chooses town council? The, the select board chooses them, but we don't review them. Ah, there's the as problem. of today. There's a how as ought as we? Way. How have we? Or how ought we? Or how do others yeah. evaluate the performance of their town council so as to inform 
mm -hmm. future decision as to renew contract or seek others or seek competitive uh, mm -hmm. comparisons. The issue is, are they doing what we need them to do? And if the answer is no, 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 mm -hmm. That's it gives I'm me hoping. a bad feeling. Yeah. I know how I would be treated as an employee if, if that became known about we my, would, yeah. it's like, um, go to the HR, we have a meeting tomorrow. Yeah. Um, so. Well, I think I would agree with Phil that we need to present something. Yeah. In the most immediate thing, we had a sleeper, redo something that was always presented in the past. Uh, separately, regarding care and custody of other parcels, that's another list of things to collect and, and republish and present. And the chips will fall where they may. Yeah. I, I, you mentioned seven properties, you mentioned nine, and there's I'm, I'm just lot. throwing numbers out, I'm not quoting yeah. the list of oh, I'm almost saying, I would hate to say, okay, we want these nine, when we really want these 30 or however many there are. Well, I, don't, I, I well, would well, hate no. to not get Every, them. Everyone that's been voted by the town <coughs> into conservation needs Board of Selectmen action. Yeah. My style of communicating about this would be such that, yes, list them all, mm -hmm. but the list would be tabulated such that every list would include a date on yes. which the action was authorized by town meeting yeah. and any that. other dates that matter. I have that. But, but then that way you can have a discussion. Let's say town minister says, well, what do you think the top five should be so we can at least get that? From that list, we'd select our top five. And I'm not going to sit here and dictate what they would be. But um, According to the assessor's office, all this could be done with one document. Uh, and we perhaps, we submit this as a, perhaps our communication, again, whatever exact form and whatever the exact timing is, of, could include that exact statement. According to the Hanson assessor's office, this can be done with one document. Uh, why do uh, we, we respectfully propose that that be done? I'm sorry, Tom, TJ. Could I ask what that document consists of? It would be a, a an instrument, a recordable instrument signed by the select board members, that would say, based on the town meeting votes, these dates. These, these meetings, these dates, these articles, these properties are um, in the care and custody of the Conservation Commission. And the recording of that is and, key. And, and under Article 97. Yes, of the referencing that. Yeah. And that so recording that they is can't okay. be taken out without state action. Now right now, let me tell you this. The sleeper property is owned by the town of Hanson. Mm -hmm. It is not owned by the Conservation Commission. So at any time between now and when we get this That's instrument, the town could sell it. I think, too, your particular description is great. Uh, it actually jives with my way of thinking, which is tabulate, tabulate, document, document, mm -hmm. clear, clear, double tap. <laughs> and say, these things all need to be done, and we respect your propose on the advice of, of uh, uh, the Board of Assessors that this be done to accomplish that. Should the table at which you're having the discussion require more reasoning, okay? remember Acorn Road. Back about 20 years ago, there was a three-acre parcel of land. 2005. 2005, so 19 the years Melody ago. The Melody Lindsay case. There was a three-acre parcel. Town meeting voted to put in the care and custody of conservation. The proper recording was never done in the, in the, the um, uh, county registry. Therefore, this land was auctioned off to a private party, and it went, and the, if the, the biggest scandal is who it went to, but it never became conservation land. It was back in private hands. Town meeting wasted its time, and its will was 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 completely. Uh, According to the records that I have, that's happened six times, not just that one time. 
six so, pieces that were voted into conservation have been sold. And I think, it's a problem. and let me, let me put a big fat bow on this, actually it's a target, maybe it belongs on, it could go on someone's back. Not doing the recording of, of those documents would be malfeasance mm -hmm. on the part of a board of selectmen. Yeah. And there was a recent case that was decided in 2022 that said just that. Who brought the case? I'm sorry? Who brought this, the suit? It was, it was a town, uh, townspeople, I think, in the town. So it wasn't a board or a commission? No. It was yeah. probably a bunch of people who got A bunch of people against the select board. Yeah, but they're probably the type of people that are on boards and commissions. And it was exactly the same kind of case as the Melody Lindsay case. Mm -hmm. The judge did say that having the select board sign an instrument that was recordable is not the only way to get it protected under Article 97, but it is a popular way. It it's, is a way. It's, it's a way, and it's the... And that's the way we've started. That's the way we've done it. Move. In the past. It may be that when you have, excuse me, it may be that when you have that lengthy a list of things to do that are undone, mm -hmm. and leaving them undone is malfeasance. This way is the way to do this and, and action. If you have this document, if we provided the select board who, who provides the town accountant with a list, all she has to do is write up a legal document and cut and paste Frank's list in for the most part. Well. And no, it's not like you have to do it 30 times. You need to do it once. You, you need to deal with town council. Yeah. I mean, one of, the, one of the things that held up the uh, instrument for the well site was that they wanted the little two lots over on Brook Street surveyed before they would talk about giving us an instrument for the eight and a half acres around the well site. That made no sense to me, but that's what the town council required. And we hadn't asked for it. And, and we did that, and we, we recorded survey. that plan, and they still haven't done anything. So All right. I would like to respectfully suggest we bring the list to the next meeting to form some communication to town council and town administrator. In other words, make it an agenda item. Um, yeah, by all means. Could we form that communication and then bring back the next meeting? That way we could actually vote well, and send it to the select board? Draft it. The, the, the most important thing for us, the most basic set of facts is, what is a list of unrecorded, unprotected parcels? Mm -hmm. And the and, uh, and the uh, town meeting right. actions right. Just that yeah, enabled so that, we could draft and right. that's the starting point. <laughs> Hello, am I missing something? I, I'm just thinking. We start with the list, mm -hmm. and the instrument that moves that list forward is discussed at the meeting. I'm be, not being a lawyer, and maybe being less informed than than our agent. Um, I don't think I would draft it, but if the agent wished to draft it uh, or propose a draft, so be it. I mean, I would make, what you want to do is make the task crystal clear and the reason for doing it crystal clear and the way to do it as clear as we humanly know how. Mm -hmm. And then, again, and once we send that off, and that will be sent to the select board or the town administrator, or whoever we decide it goes to, and then we will monitor it. We await their, or I will their positive response. Um, because, again, all we're doing is we're asking that the will of town meeting be implemented. Okay, so we've got a plan for next meeting for that. The open space and recreation plan. Yes. Who is responsible for said plan? The last two times one was written, it was a joint project of the Planning Board and the Conservation Commission. The last time it actually happened, the Planning Board and the Town Planner <coughs> took almost complete responsibility for it and did accomplish it over a period of time. 
So the current version of the OSRP expires next month. month. Next month. Okay. That soon. Yes. And there has been no progress as yet. I am told, <coughs> and I don't remember what's the town planner, or town administrator, or both, that uh, the town planner is seeking funds or a way to fund the updating of the open space and recreation plan. Uh, it is the, the, the clear, clearly the priority of all priorities has been the master plan, but there has been discussion, I have not seen any written documentation of this, but the discussion has been uh, town plan is working on a way to update that. So, master plan obviously is a, a large project for everybody. Sure. Um, Tony has, or the planning department has finally finished the MBTA bylaw, which frees up a lot of their time and efforts. There is a warrant article to fund the housing production plan that also expires this year for the town meeting. But there is no action taken in regards to the OSRP. There is no warrant article proposing a, uh, a task, a responsible party, and a source of funding to update the OSRP. Correct. Which means if he is pursuing grant funding, we are at the mercy of when those grants are <coughs> dispersed to actually sign the contract yeah. and get started, which means that for all intents and purposes, we are going to be unable to apply for grants from many agencies that require a up-to-date OSRP. And also, part of this discussion is one needs in place the current OSRP in order to be able to apply for other grants. Not just to create the OSRP, but the OSRP, OSRP is in fact an enabling instrument. Right. We're going to lose our ability to apply for grant funding for right. unrelated so things. I think all priorities agree it's important to update it. I would submit to any discussion about how we get that updated is among the potential sources of labor and capability for updating it, consider the Conway School of Landscape Architecture. They, as recently as this winter, have uh, successfully taken on to tasks assigned by towns for them to update the OSRP for town X, Y, and Z. Uh, they are, it is not, the old Colony Planning Council, for example, is not the only game in town as far as capable parties for writing a new plan. Uh, the Conway School is another party. There are other private firms. We used a company called MapWorks back in 2008 and 2007, which was a consortium of people with tremendous skills in maps and open space, et cetera. Um, I believe the gentleman is no longer in business, but uh, there are other way. There are more ways than just Old Colony Planning Council to do it. Personally, I'll just say um, the current open space and recreation plan. I am not happy with it. It's unwieldy. It's much too long. Uh, it was not concise. It's a document that does not invite reading. I think it kind of repels readers, it repels me, and I, I'm, I feel bad saying that because it's a very important plan. Um, the previous plan was something like, I don't know, 90 or 100 pages long. This one's like 160 pages long, almost half of which was a, a huge analysis of the town's uh, ADA compliance uh, for different facilities, uh, buildings, etc. The quality Words of the OSRP aside, if we are considering moving forward with property acquisitions, it's going to cut down on our options for funding to pretty much CPC and warrant articles for presumably the next six to 12 months. Right, and small grants from other agencies not, not, not called to DCS, Division of Conservation Services. Uh, it's, and not just land acquisitions, but park creations. The DCS it requires assistance. But yes, what you said is correct. Just advising everyone of where we stand. <coughs> mm -hmm. And that well I don't pretend to be an expert on who can write an open space plan. We are going to probably want to keep one eye on 
progress or lack thereof as it's going to impact yeah. us and our ability. What are, what are we going to put our eye on, DJ? <clears throat> Who? Who is doing anything? I haven't heard of any effort on the OSRP. Any. Well, so I who do you put your eye on? Okay, so other than Tony's acknowledgement that it is expiring, I haven't heard anything either. The chair stated that he's been told there is some form of action taking place that no one else is aware of other than the person that said this to the chair. Right, Which, verbal. which chair? Me. Tonight, okay. I said that. Oh, I've, okay. I've heard... Oh, okay. Um, it might have been a conversation with that town administrator. I do not recall. <coughs> Point being, we don't know really anything meaningful. I might be a touch skeptical of that claim on a personal level. Uh, and I don't think we're going to solve I mean, the issue of... You know what's going on with the master plan because you're involved in that, in that effort. Okay. And I, right, and but I know do you know the who's priorities. involved in the housing production plan? I, the first time I ever heard of it was this week. I just heard the first time I heard about it was about 10 minutes ago. <laughs> well, it's a warrant article. $40,000 to pay somebody to write it. Uh, because that, much like the OSRP, is a requirement to apply for grants. Yeah. And the town planner wants to be able to continue to apply for grants. The town planner doesn't apply for conservation grants. So priorities are such as he decides, at least for his office. So unless, and I'm not suggesting this, unless we want to take the ball and run with the OSRP, we're going to be stuck playing third or fourth fiddle here. Here is a suggestion from myself as chair of this group tonight. In order to push this important initiative forward, uh, I think that we not only mention it, but we mention some things I already mentioned, which is alternative ways to produce this important thing other than ways we've already used in the past, which are on record. One of the ways is the Conway School. But what I think would be wise to do would be to, by means of town websites, and I think probably this would be successful all around, is Look, not only Hanson, but all the immediately surrounding towns, and maybe a few other selected ones, like Plymouth, or not necessarily far away, but let's say what they have for plans, if they have them, uh, who wrote them, because if it was written by an outside contractor or something, it will be acknowledged in the right up front in the document, and tabulate this. And there are, uh, there's some, I would say, examples of how to be successful in this important thing, and there's also examples of how not to do it. I was talking to someone yesterday, uh, Saturday at the uh, conference about, you know, I think it was West Bridgewater, about an open space and recreation plan, and the chair of their conservation, no, their conservation agent, uh, Tim Hay, who replaced uh, John Delano out there, said their plan was way out of date, and they, they, aren't, they don't have one in the works right now, and you just felt bad about that. So some towns are examples of what not to do. We don't want to be one of those towns. Uh, but in order to give confidence to the decision makers in this building, selectmen, planning board, et cetera, uh, sort of create a landscape saying, this is what uh, other responsible people in other towns are doing. And say, with that as background, we could end up saying something that we have not yet acted on, but we could advocate a path forward. It could involve uh, conservation and planning, working forward with an outside contractor, you know, whoever it may be, uh, on such and such a budget, with the goal of completing it you on know, such and such a schedule so as to restore our ability to, or regain our ability to apply for grants and things, um, and see if we get buy in or see if someone else has a better plan, they, then we'd buy into a better plan. But um, I'm looking to my right here, I'm looking at you uh, and, and Frank. Uh, I think it makes sense to, again, I keep using the word tatted, to uh, make a table or map of six or eight or nine other communities around us 
Uh, I would include Plymouth because, again, they're, they, even though they're big and not really comparable to us, if, if a town does smart things, we should, we should imitate them. Uh, tabulate where towns are with open space and recreation plans and see if there's, uh, helps us to formulate recommendations to the others in this building. I, I think what I'm saying is I think it would be useful to all of us to see what's being done out there and not just wonder what do we do. Other people have invented these wheels already and let's see if, if a way forward uh, sort of emerges or the, the least painful, most affordable, most rapid way forward emerges from what we see in the others besides what we think and what we know ourselves from our own experience. Um, let me. So that's an action item. Okay. I have to put it on the next meeting. Oh, that be? Oh, that's not bad. That's not bad. That's not a bad thing. Sure. My guess, however, is that our town planner has probably done this. I'm just guessing. Mm -hmm. But one of the things that comes to mind here is that the leadership from the board of selectmen. Need, needs to be aware of where we are. I've never seen any of these on the agenda for the Board of Selectmen. When you say any of these, you mean these other plans? These plans. What's happening with these three plans? What, who's doing what? And In other words, an update on those plan, yeah, those projects. Yeah. Well, does the select board know? In What's large part, on? they fall under the planning board, which is elected, not appointed by the select board. So I think there's a intentional. Might it be a simple? Item? Excuse me, folks, but I'll piggyback in there. It may be that appropriate or not, ideal or not, there is a delegation of both responsibility and capability from the board of selectmen to the planning board. Gee, plans? I guess that will belong to the planning board. And the planning board, in various ways, may or may not respond to, or in the time may vary, on each of those topics. Um, I know for a fact the open space and recreation plan in other towns is not the exclusive property and value of the planning board. In Rockland, well, no, in Hanover. I don't think any of these are. That, that's right. What I'm saying is, we, it's been dumped on Tony because he's the town planner. But we need but to. That doesn't I, mean it's the planning board doing anything. Right. I am seeking to. Should that be what it apparently is? Should that be the mindset right now? I'm seeking to fix that mindset, correct that mindset with information. And if no one well, else is putting it together, I, I mean, mean, I know. I know that Tony and Kim have had a lot of priorities they haven't been able to get to yes. in conjunction with the planning board because of the amount of time that they have spent on the Master MBTA project that they all loving, of, lovingly begun referring all to as delegated a college turd. to them by the board of selectmen and the town administrator, not the planning board. What I'm he, saying... He is serving two masters. The downstairs people tell him what to do, and he has no choice. Give me a plan for MBTA. Uh, and so he whips something up and makes a presentation, and he's good at it. Don't get me wrong. He well, made a good presentation. So officially, the planning board created that draft bylaw and zoning map. No, no, he did it. The well, planning board didn't do anything. As if, as if like, we're asking you to write something that we will vote on next week. Same type of thing where the planning, officially, the board approved of, it. Right, officially, the planning board proposed it to the select board. The select board sent it back to the planning board because the planning board is the zoning bylaw review agency in town. And they reviewed their own and approved it Monday night and reported favorably to the select board who probably haven't received it yet. But the <clears throat> like that's the the zoning bylaws fall under the planning board. They are one of the agencies that can in town that can recommend zoning bylaw changes. They are the board tasked by the select board to review zoning bylaw changes. But 
I don't, I don't know, Frank, I don't really want to volunteer you to run the OSRP. You're pretty busy. Let me say this. Let me, let me sort of try to refocus our discussion. Oh, all, all good points, all well made, et cetera. Uh, as a contrast to what we're talking about here, in the town of Hanover, they have an open space committee that's been for years very, very active. And I've seen in print a statement that they have been uh, largely responsible for the updating and the successful updating of the Open Space and Recreation Plan. Our Open Space Committee has not been active for a few years. And I say that as someone who recently was on that committee, but my appointment expired and I've been busy here. However, there are... I don't know that there's actually anybody appointed to that committee. Well, that, that's, that's a separate right. topic, separate problem with separate thoughts that I haven't shared with anyone at this table, so let's leave that right there. But let's just say that as far as the Open Space and Recreation Plan goes, I think surveying what other nearby communities have done, and from that, extra, extracting models that have been successful for how to do it, maybe even some pricing, because I know some of these people, we can find out what they paid for, for their project. And advocating, knowing that it's got to stay in place in line, but advocating strongly for following whatever path the town eventually chooses to follow. Uh, just sitting here wondering about it and speculating is a start, but only by putting together some specific information. And I've suggested to Lon and the staff that we put on our agenda for the next meeting and perhaps continuing a discussion item called Open Space and Recreation Plan. It matters hugely to us. We have had two successful grants. We received <coughs> More than two hundred eighty-two thousand dollars in those grants from the, by having a, 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 an applicable, uh, an up-to-date plan. Um, as of next month, we can't apply for any more, and we've probably spent uh, between um, thirty and forty thousand dollars to to create and update those plans. But to me, <coughs> that's that's a net benefit of about two hundred forty thousand dollars, <laughs> and so it, it's in our interest to do this. But. Um, all I can say is, <clears throat> by preparing some materials to help us at our next meeting, um, I think it's a good thing for us to include in that discussion. Not sure how many other things are already on that next agenda. <laughs> no, we don't talk but much. we'll. Uh, so see. you're just talking the open space plan. Open space and recreation. Yes. Open space and recreation. Frank mentioned three plans. I I got the open space plan, the housing plan. The master plan. Which one? The master plan. Okay, yes. so that one's already being worked on. Okay. That one's on the back nine. Hmm? That one's on the back nine. We're right. It's to, so it's the, we're the other two that we, that, this point. that we don't, that we need to get the ball rolling. Well, we don't need to get the ball rolling on the housing one. I think Frank's just making the point of nobody seems to be in charge. When it comes to these important plans, um, mm -hmm. I've had a philosophy that, remember they used to have candidates day? I would never been to one, but I can. I think a very useful thing to, to have done, or to do in the future, is, is to say to a candidate A or B or Z, um, we have a master plan, we have an open space and recreation plan, they've been on the books for a long time. Please tell me, with regard to each plan, what you think the most important part is in that plan, and what you would propose to do in your term, if you'd be elected, to promote these things, <laughs> and see if they say. And a backup voice is silent. A, back, a backup uh, plan is like, have you read these plans? And then whatever their answer is might inform, it would inform my vote, or at least part of my vote. Um, it would give them a chance to treat it as important. 40% of the select board was at the public session last week. And that's not a bad thing. But the thing is, uh, right now, uh, let me say this. In 2008, when I was part of the Master Plan Committee, um, there was a very capable contractor selected. And over the course of about two and a half years, the plan got created. This is a slightly different approach right now. Um, that's fine. But, well, it two and a half years. but there are plans, and to Frank's point, <laughs> why write a plan unless you're going to be aware of it? Or why let plans like die on the vine like a squash that gets too big to use. I mean, 
show us that you are using these plans as part of your day-to-day -day carrying out of your job. So I know that I know that Tony is aware of this plan and its ex expiration because it has come up as part of the master plan process. Unofficially, I am fairly confident in saying it's his second priority behind the housing plan, but he might have some plan that he hasn't shared with anybody in terms of a grant or something like that that we should at least ask about. Yeah, yeah, and I don't, any of the things I've suggested, I don't promote, propose doing things in a vacuum that ignore our friends in the planning function. I don't propose that at all. But what I'm proposing is stuff that would give them help in moving forward with things. Um, so let's move on. I think we have an action item to have on our next meeting, but with, with a little more prepared material. Um, I, I got one more thing I have sure. to clarify that I forgot Please. on the property stuff. Please do. Uh, could somebody tell me who is dealing with doing something to block traffic on the trail up there at Bunny Hill? Because we're going to have to repair that trail now. Oh, yeah. I can tell you, I was, a at, mess. I was at the selectman's meeting, uh, I think it was the most recent selectman's meeting there was. Yep. I sat through the entire thing because there was about four things that mattered to conservation matters and I spoke for all of them. Uh, but on that, I presented, it was interesting. Uh, there was a, a break in the meeting, they came back to the session. I physically took our two-page document that we emailed twice to the chair of the Hanson Park, uh, High Street Park Committee. And I put it in his hands and I said, you'll remember what this is. You've seen an email. And I explained to him and recruited him on the spot to be an advocate for doing what it said. What it says was, as we all know, how about doing what we did? Not hard to do. Blocks and chains. I was not impressed with how most of the select board and the chair responded. It was as if they didn't know what to do. And I said, it's, do, what do you expect us to do? I said, it's Board of Selectman property, it's town property. It's being damaged. As Mr. Weeks, who was chair of the past meeting, knows and has a stake <coughs> damage is a bad thing. And the, losing the trail is a bad thing. We proposed the Selectman install these sorts of things. What do we have to hire a department to? I was being asked by, this, by the Selectman how they should do their job. I was not particularly happy about that. I'm not sure what they're going to do, but... Well, we're going to end up having to spend money to fix that trail already, and it's getting worse every day. Yeah. My next move would be informal. I'd just go around all this. I, I would be happy to go to the highway uh, surveyor, highway director, that's his title, and say, Jameson, what needs to happen is this. The selectmen know this is what needs to happen. Do you have any stuff laying around that could help them make it happen? Since there's no snow to plow yet, <laughs> uh, maybe he's got some blocks laying around or some chain laying around, or would be willing, if so directed by them, to go get stuff and install it. Short of buying it, uh, the equipment ourselves again, there's nothing else we can do. Um, Ed, what, Ed, what's your take? The highway department should just do it. We should. Yeah. What, what's your take on the selectman's response to yeah, our, it? It was very muted, I guess, is a good way of it. It was like, yeah, well, yeah well, that sounds like a good idea. You well, know, uh, they sounded know. confused, surprised, and unable <clears throat> to grasp what they should do. How muted is it going to be when we need five or 8000 bucks to fix the trail? Right. Yeah. Which is coming up pretty quick at the rate this is going. Um, again, I'm not going to use the word malfeasance. I'm going to write. If the trail doesn't get protected in the way that we've done, the damage will be the fault of the select board for not acting to prevent it. Yep. We've done everything humans can do through the proper channels to prevent that damage. Um, I was... Other than doing what they should do ourselves. Doing their job for them. But we already have gone above and beyond, I think, in commencing the creation of a perimeter trail for that property and the parking area on, on Pierce Avenue. We have, shall we say, um, we've maximized, uh, we've, we've pushed the borders of what a conservation commission would normally do, because that's not conservation land, it's just town open land. 
but we think it has been well received. We know it has been well received. Um, so, long answer to a short question, Dave. Well, yeah. I'm about ready to give it up, I'm telling you what, because it's I, so frustrating, you can't imagine it. If you... I could get that done next week, if somebody would just say, do it. And I, it's really <laughs> frustrating because we're, we're really, we spend all that time and money and we're just letting it go to hell. And it's not right. And uh, if, it, I, if the celebrity want to keep screwing around with it, that's fine. But, you know, I'm getting a little tired of worrying about it and banging my head against the wall, to be honest. And, and doing the small amount of maintenance you're already doing on it. I mean, you're not... You're it's not beyond the ground, frustrating. Right? Yeah. So we replaced one side. They just I haven't it. replaced yeah. it yet. Oh, because well, if nobody's ever going to do anything about it, what's the sense? Mm. You're going to knock it down again. Mm. And meanwhile, the ruts up there on the, on the upper level are just, it's getting to be like a, you know, like an old dirt road. Uh, Ed, so you that's all I got to say yeah. about it. I'm done yeah. with talking about it. Um, I, my, my, I, I, I feel almost like Dave does about some things on the getting done, just like what I want to do, but I, was, I wanted a spreadsheet and said, these are the 10 things you guys are working on. What's the status? Well, that'll be too hard to do enough. I'm, I'm going back to it now because I'm seeing. Someone said, what, who said what would be too hard just to do? was discussed on like these things, like what's oh. up with the open space plan? That should okay. always be on the list. You know, it's maybe it's down near the bottom for a few years, but then it bubbles up. What's up with a you know? Yeah. Somebody comes to conservation commission, comes to the select board and says, <clears throat> "You guys should do this line item." And let it, me and it doesn't go off until. Let me say this in an effort to put at least some momentum back in the issue that, that Dave was talking about. Um, Lon, if in your spare time tomorrow you can send me an email, you've heard me say this before, this, but it's a way that works. Send me this, reminding me to contact the highway director for his input in collaborating on a plan to put in the fix that we just talked about. He has more capability than, with all due respect, to the board of separate sitting behind a table. He's got equipment and stuff. Okay. So I will communicate that and bring the back to, to the committee, commission. Um, any other items before we go to our invoice business? Let's do that. Invoices, they are here. Um, as we do this, um, if there's any real highlights or lowlights people want to share about their participation in the uh, uh, conference last Saturday. Uh, the drones thing. The drone thing. Yeah. Share. Um, yeah. So Frank and I both went to the drone class, and uh, yeah, the short of it is they're a lot cooler than we thought they were going to be. There's uh, there's the ones where you need to learn how to be a pilot, and then there's the ones where you need to just use an app on his phone. Uh, apparently, there's one where it's where the maps made easy was I think the one that was recommended by the guy. Uh, where if he gets, and I looked into what's compatible, it's uh, DJI is the name of the company that puts it out, so anything from their catalog, and there's some that are within our price range that look pretty nice. Um, is they, the, this uh, is the Chinese outfit? That no, no, this is the one that he recommended, the DJI. The other one is something starting with the letter A, I forget what it was. Uh, none, of, none of these are mute money for me, right? I have a D DJI, if anybody would like to play with it and see what it does. Do a little research on that, because one of them is the, the one that's banned by the U.S. government. Uh, yeah, that's the other one. Steve will not sign this one. This, this, yeah, the, the, so the one that you're referring to, he actually brought that up during it. He said that's why you use the DJI, because that's the one that he said is not goes through China. Um, well, they're both owned by a Chinese company, but one's Chinese government. Yeah, as long as the data doesn't leave the uh, cross-border, as long as it's in the United I mean, States, then it's it doesn't mean private parties can't have one of them. Yeah. But it just, I think, as a principle, using for yep. you know, government ones. For entities. Well, sorry, not to party. Party. Uh, 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 Well, yeah, but I mean, it's not illegal. Oh, right 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 okay. Yeah, it's what we're trying to decide. To get to get to my point, though, the uh, the difference was he pulls up an app on his phone, pulls up a map of the area, draws a circle around the area he wants to survey, hits send, and then just sits in a chair. It will go out there and it'll act like a lawnmower going back and forth, back and forth. 
taking a ton of pictures, send those pictures off to a service that stitches them all together and then delivers you a PDF of a map. So Chris won't need his lawnmower anymore? We just <laughs> yeah. Lawn. yeah, well, no, that, literally, no. It, 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 the, the thing in the app is called mowing the lawn, literally, because it's exactly Yeah, they use that for, let's say, um, so in our surveys of the ocean yeah. floor and stuff. The key point though is he doesn't have to actually physically say, all right, go up this way, change your direction. Mm -hmm. He literally just draws a circle around the area he wants on the, on the map on his screen, and then that's it, hands off. The, the drone is now going to go fly for the next 45 minutes. Does on he have to go to the hamburger on the upper left corner? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, what I'm saying is that, that, that seems like, well, especially since it's only five bucks a month. You can pay for 35 bucks for the year. Um, and they, they will render those pictures into an actual topographical map for you for Peanuts. Are we are still signing things. Yeah, well, yeah. Well, yeah Steve, we, we, we wear the, the last one has your name. Okay, yeah, I'll hold that in front of you. Um, Bond, do, hmm? do I use town hall as the starting point, even if I didn't leave through town hall? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Did I add the map quest for it? You did. Yeah, I, I get 79 miles, not 75. From town hall. You sh you can use that. That's what yeah, I got. Yeah, okay. Do 79. Do 79, guys. Okay. Anticipating that I just those printed it just in case you Yeah, it says 75 hours, but. Do 79. The way they said it was 79. But yeah, town hall is the starting point. Anticipating their invoices were all signed, the uh, chair sees no other business to come before us and maintain so a motion yeah. to adjourn. Sorry, yeah. if you have one of those. If you move the second to adjourn, so this is the time the being 8. So that's literally not so easy. 32. All in favor, please say aye. Aye. I don't have that. I don't know. It's a paid service.